Wait, so last time we played this, um, find out Max was the killer? Or like an alternate reality of her was the killer? <laughs> Hashtag, wish that chair was me. <laughs> Hashtag, I know that seat happy. Have you seen that Kevin Hart with the Nicki Minaj me? <laughs> what the fuck was she eating? How is it already definitely, made? definitely eating waffles. She definitely ate waffles and ice cream for dinner. I can practically smell it. This makes about as much sense as it did last night. Yeah, not Let's me. Let's take a look at the evidence. Again, Andrew Garfield quote. It ain't me. Be missing something. Here you go. No matter what that photo. Oh yeah, you gotta watch the USB. We got this, and we can watch it last chapter. Hold on. Okay. I'd like. I'd like. She's looking right at the camera. Like, she knows it's there. Does she want to get caught? Cat. Not her. What if this is from an or ordinary reality? Is this another... Doppelganger? What if it picked up from an alternate reality? No matter what that photo of me suggests, there's no... Before Safi died, Gwen got her book cancelled, and I still don't know why. But that doesn't mean she killed Safi. Plus, dead world Gwen seems genuinely torn up over her death. Yeah, the Gwen theory has some holes. Vin definitely knows more about the cow skull than he's letting on. Plus, why on earth did Gwen cancel Sophie's book deal? Didn't she? Whoever did this had to go to so much trouble. Is that me? Did I go back in time and do that? Max, lost. It doesn't make any it sense. It doesn't make any sense because you can't time travel anymore. Hurt Sophie. Not on purpose. That isn't me. It can't be. Yeah, exactly. It's not me. Maybe if I go object by object. An answer will jump. None of this is adding up. Why would Gwen want to be caught? I read the beginning. It's annoyingly good. Shut up. Um, no, it's not. I doubt it. Order Lucas said Sophie once threatened to turn his son against him. That certainly implies some bad blood in there. What past. if it was a double gang? That Lucas was scared of Sophie, not out for revenge. None of this is conclusive enough. Moses, when this is all over, I'll play as many games of Mana Massive as you want. I swear. That refill coffee. Coffee. Coffee is friend. Get coffee now. Yes! Yes! <laughs> With like a full on like mind trick of like get coffee. <laughs> Drink coffee you will. Eat muffin, you will. You. Is that chalk chip or blueberry? Used to make sense. Moses? Nah. Not Moses. FBI. Hello, Miss Caulfield. Ah, uh, GG. Oh. I'm dead. Can I come in? Um, not without a warrant, but okay. A photo. If he sees that. Hmm. I have some questions for you. What do you want to know? Of course. I... I can answer your questions right here. Yeah, you're not wondering about that. I knew you'd be a valuable resource. What is she looking for? There are just a few details I'm struggling to make sense of. Okay. What's that?
Go ahead. Acadia Bay, where you went to high school, right? Yep. Yeah. A beautiful town with a surprisingly violent story to tell. Not unlike... Arcadia Bay and Safi are not connected. A small town with a curious number of murders. And now, Safi, Llewellyn, Fayed, murdered in a small town? What are the odds? Oh, he's implying it with me. Coffee? Are you the one who's unlucky? Or is it just everyone who ever meets you? That's messed up. Go fuck yourself. Arcadia Bay has nothing to do with Safi. Ooh, there it is. Touched a nerve? I knew I'd find one if I kept poking around. Detective, I'm not answering any more of his question. What the fuck happened to the telescope, Maxine? What do you mean? I... I don't even know what you're talking about. Someone was in the office with me. I could hear them. I saw Moses in the hallway, but I didn't see you. You told me to leave. All right, enough. We're not getting anywhere. This case has been abnormal from the beginning. None of the evidence makes any sense. At least that's something we can agree yeah. on. Yeah. But I know why now. Why? Somehow, all this death leads to you. Bet. Ta uh, reality shift now. Uh oh, GG's. 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 He knows. He knows. He knows. He knows. He knows. GG's. Why would you print that fucking photo out in the first place? He saw it. He saw the photo. Stupid, Max. Stupid. Stupid. What the hell do I do now? Get out of this reality! <laughs> That's for starters. Don't... None of this makes any sense. Why'd you leave it frown? What happened that night? Why the fuck am I in this picture? The old me would have just jumped back in time to the moment this photo was taken. Why can't you? Yeah, why doesn't she have rewind powers anymore? Maybe. Maybe I still could. Oh. Yeah, because they've never answered the question why she can't time travel anymore. <laughs> now nah, it's too good to be true. Maybe I can go to that reality? She's actually getting a rewind powers back. Well, I'm guessing that's the case. Oh, I nearly got it. Oh, this is so weird. Okay. That has to go here. Did it right? There we go. Wait, so she's actually rewinding time. So that's what it feels like to capture the perfect photo. No. 
Feels good. Final. Safi. Hmm. Tier two. But there wasn't a storm the day Safi died. Maybe we are Kurt. What? You, me, and Maya. Maya? Who's Maya? Safi, wait. Who is Maya? What was she talking about? Stop stalling, Max. What do you want? Oh, I should ask her, how do I stop this? I don't understand. What do you want from me? So it's kind of like the end of Life is Strange 1. Pull the trigger. No. So it really was me. Shit. So she actually, I, I managed to do a bit of rewind powers. What? She's too OP. Rewind and fucking. No, that wasn't enough time. And alternate reality shifting thing. She's practically Jesus. It's not gonna work again. I thought she said she swears to, that she'll never do this again. Because maybe he knows. have to tell him. Everything. I doubt he's going to listen to you. Oh, he's actually answering me. Um. I promise it won't go bad. You're... Oh, I thought that said yours very well. Yeah, so I'm... What, what, what exactly are we going to tell Drake? Moses is waiting for me up there. Hopefully. That high, um, back when I was 18, back when I was in high school, I actually had the power to rewind time, and I fucked everything up. Um, then recently, um, I managed to figure out that I can also, sh sh uh, jump different realities. And now that the reality where Sophie's dead, Sophie's alive. This is where the police tape was yesterday. Did the cops take it down on Alderman's orders? Probably. He's not here. Yet. Let's give him a few minutes. Maybe wait on the bench. I'm just mean. He's under pressure. Taking a picture of that shit. By new dad. Oh, fucking. Who wants a new dad? You only get one. Unless you get a stepdad. What if he doesn't come? Um. I couldn't blame him. Then you probably got to apply some more lube. Killed his best friend. 
Not you, it was probably a different version of you. What does that say about me? That I... Any version of me... Could do something like that? He's probably not coming. Oh, it... Diamond knows where I am and who I'm meeting. So don't do anything stupid. I'm not gonna kill you. you. I deserve that. You wanted to talk. So talk. Tell me the truth. Tell me why you did it. I haven't done it yet, or I don't know why. You were right. I shot Sophie. But I can't tell you why, because I don't know the answer myself. No reason you could give would be good enough. Moses, wait. I asked you to come here so I could show you proof. Something is weird about this place. Look. These flowers. What are the odds they bloom in the middle of winter? Exactly in the shape of Sophie's body? Five minutes and then I leave. Okay. So, what if I told you there's this other timeline where Sophie is alive and I can travel between this timeline and that one? Four minutes. I know, I know that it sounds insane. Well, are you gonna bring him yeah, with me? I can me? show you. I, I'll, I'll hop from this timeline to the other. You'll see me, poof, disappear. Yeah, to some magical fantasy world where you didn't kill Safi, right? It's not a fantasy world. It's connected to this one. If I try to, I can even see the other one from here. Wait, you can see across them? And here, too. So if you disappear or whatever, and I do something while you're gone, I could tell you what it was when I come back. And then... You'll believe me? It'd be a start. <laughs> yeah. Okay. This is okay, like... Deal. This is like Chloe all over again. Okay. Um, let's do this. Alright. There's a chance Moses will believe me. First, I gotta hop over to the other timeline. I shouldn't leave yet. Oh, fuck, there's a thing over... Wait, where did Drake go? Now to see what Moses is up Shit. I think Moses is too stunned to do anything. Let me jump back over to make sure I didn't break him. <laughs> Believe me now? Holy shit. Ho Holy shit. Oh my god. I'm sorry if I... Set me. Are you kidding? You did something physics says should be impossible. Is impossible. So you. You believe me? Yes. And no. You disappeared, Max. Literally. I completely forgot to do anything. Okay. Let's try it again. <laughs> so he believes me, but he doesn't want to believe me because he didn't Ready do anything. Okay, let's do it. Okay, let's try this again. Wait, whoa, is he hailing? Okay. What did I do when you were away? Uh, <laughs> Go, go, Power Rangers. And then you said... It's uh, Machine Angel Psychic Storm. Machine Angel Psychic Storm. Oh, oh my god. I did it right. Yep. 
That's what I did. <laughs> wow. I mean... Yeah. Near as I can tell, Sophie's death is where the timeline split. I think her absence is the only difference between the two. I guess that could be a big enough event to lead to... Why do they do that? Is it when he's thinking or stressed out? She is. And she's... Don't say happy. We both know that would be a lie. You're right. When you see her again, can you give her something for me? The bottle cap? How did you... Safi slipped it back to me that night. Found it in my equipment. Can you give that to her? Tell her... Tell her stay safe. Make her swear to it. I can't promise anything, because she might... Um, I will. I'll, I'll. I will. Promise. But I think she's going to need her help. What do you mean? When I was a teenager, I could... Rewind time. Just... Raise my hand and undo everything that had just been done. Okay. And if I had a photo, I could go back even farther. Wait. Could. Tense? Yep. Never worked how I hoped. Um, time travel couldn't fix any anything. I know it sounds like it must have been amazing. But Moses, the things I caused to happen. Just having a power doesn't necessarily give you mastery over it. One of many lessons gleaned from X-Men comics. <laughs> the point is, I stopped using it, and now it barely works. Okay, but there's a photo of you from that night with a gun. You're saying that could be a future you? Even though you can't do that anymore? This morning I tried Rewinding into that photo, it felt like trying to flex an atrophy muscle. Nothing made sense. But I was there, in the past. Sophie mentioned Maya, and oh god, the storm. Max? Look, there's a timeline where... For some reason, I shot Sophie. This one. And there's a timeline where I didn't. I feel like, intentionally or not, these two worlds exist because of a decision I'm going to have to make. Holy shit. Moses, I've been here before. When I could rewind, it broke time. People got hurt. Facts. I can't let what happened in Arcadia Bay happen here, too. Oh, okay. First look at the crime scene is inconclusive. Some further insight into Miss Llewellyn Thayet's mental state. Not to call a shot prematurely, but if this isn't suicide, I'd put money on a Mr. Moses Murphy, friend of the deceased, being the perp. I need to introduce myself to Mr. Murphy. He's talking like he hasn't already met you. Like he's. Alderman from yesterday. 
Ottoman that already happened? Max, this is really bad. Time isn't supposed to act this way. You're telling me? Here something was removed from her person post-mortem. Maybe the camera her mother mentioned. We need to get the hell out of it. <gasps> Whoa. I fucking knew it. What the fuck? Returning to the scene of the crime? Amateur hour shit. Really? How'd I let a couple of small time fuck ups like you get under my skin? Really? You're not making any sense. You're not making any sense. You want to talk about sense? Nothing about you makes sense. Telescopes don't put themselves together. Evidence doesn't disappear. You're going to pay for what you've done, Maxine Caulfield. Me? And I'm here to... Oh, he sees, him, he sees himself. Dude, just fuck. Like, you could, yeah. Fall and bend him over. What the f Help me. What did he just do? Yourself. Help. Fucking help. I'm helping him. I'm helping him. Let me guess, they just cease to exist now? Because because Ocean Timeline is just like merged and now he's buffed. Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness, that shit. I could have saved him, Moses. I could have saved him. I tried. <laughs> you couldn't have. Listen to me, Max. This place ate a man. What do you mean by that? He ate another man, ate another man. Oh shit. Moses, you're here. I told you, there's always a cost. Started with Safi. Maybe if we can figure out why you. why she died, maybe we can prevent all this. That's what I've been trying to do. The whole day I've been talking to people and. Spying on them and taking their stuff. Hey, Safi mentioned mine, right? When you rewound? Right. What do you think Maya has to do with all this? Who's Maya? No idea. Maya was before my time. Gwen Hunter might know more than me. She was Safi's mentor during all that mess. Gwen, gotta go talk to Gwen. You might want to get some hair dye for the for the gray. I'm still shaking. Alderman was, and then he just wasn't. And Moses and I were standing so close. But I'm here now. I'm here. I'm all right.
This is still dead reality. Okay, talk to Gwen, see what she knows about Maya, and while I'm at it, I'd like to know why she killed Sophie's book deal. Sophie's book? Hey, Gwen. Max, hey! So what do I owe the pleasure? Hey, Smoker! Actually, I need to talk to you about Sophie. No reason to beat around the bush. I know you got Sophie's book deal cancelled. What I don't understand is why? why. Look, I don't know what I'm at liberty to tell you, but I'll do my best. That's all I ask. That's all I, I ask. Know. Uh, how did you convince the publisher? So, what did you tell the publisher that made him nix the deal? I. I told them there was incendiary content in the book, which was true. It would have harmed a lot of people, Safi included. What was so incendiary? Safi's book was incendiary? What does that mean? Like, How? fire? What was it about? Uh, forgive me for dancing around things. I, I wish I could be straight with you, really. How much did Safi tell you about Maya Okada? Gwen's bringing up Maya? Time to pay attention. Yeah, yeah. Open up the notes. Uh, only a little. Not a lot. I know they were friends. <laughs> Understatement of the year. Best friends? The two of them were like the creepy twins in The Shining. <laughs> you never saw one without the other. And that... Ben Lang kid. He used to follow the two of them around like a lost puppy. <laughs> okay. But then Maya took her own life. And that's what Safi wrote about in her book? Maya's death and everything around it. Her anger at her mom for even thinking of Caledon when she'd just lost a soulmate. Ultimately. I realized it wasn't worth putting Yasmin and Safi through all that again. Okay, she did the right thing. Made a call. I don't know if it was the right one. I say, I say Gwen did good. Gwen did good. Sounds like Yasmin can tell me more about Maya. I'll have to be tactful. Um... I think Safi's manuscript? One last thing. Is that Safi's manuscript? I'm part of it, why? Can I read it? Can I read it? <laughs> I I can see into the future. Someone else. GG's. Reading Safi's manuscript after all this feels like I don't know. Being Beneath my feet tidal wave. She lies still in her Sunday clothes. We killed her with our own. With our own hands. I mean, a lack of hands. I killed it with my voice. I mean, my lack of voice. Maya's book was like a child or a tumor or a rising beast within her. On the first page, she wrote that she was drowning, and by the time she finished, she was drowned. The drowned always surface that isn't spoken still exists. You can chop her up and sell her for parts, but her ghost remains whole. Floating there in the corner of my kitchen. Of course she's in the kitchen. Giving me that familiar look. The one that says, unstitch the binding. Let the pages fall out, fluttering like birds. Shut down the one that says, take them from, take him for everything he's got and then some. It wasn't bad. It's not bad. I don't understand how, 
How you what? I guess what there's a deeper meaning. There's a poem. Hey, could you mind closing it behind you, Max? Sure. Uh, apparently, Vermont State nor Lakeport PD have any. Any. What? I'll be uh, okay. So I started doing a little digging into the Alderman situation, and it's already weird. Apparently, neither Vermont State nor Lakeport PD have any record of a Detective Vincent Alderman ever. Uh, th yeah, that is weird. That's not weird. That's sketchy. How can they have no record of him? They sent him. So he says. That phone ringing? Sorry, Yasmin, but I'll need to interrupt your downtime with some questions. No, I'm just crazy. I don't like talking in... Hi, Yasmin. Maxime. How are you? I was worried after your nosebleed yesterday. Like I said, I get those all the time. Still, be careful. Small symptoms can be signs of larger problems. A toothache can mean a heart attack. Wait, can it really? I'm gonna try. Wait, can it really? No, I'm nervous. Fuck, wait. Wait, wait. I was hoping we could talk. Come. Wait, so. no, 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 I'm looking that up. Can a tooth ache give you a heart attack? Yes, yeah, a toothache can be a symptom of a heart attack. Especially if it's accompanied, accompanied by symptoms like sweating, lightheadedness, or chest pain. Oh, GG's. Um... Did Safi tell you her book deal was cancelled? What? No. How... How, uh, was she when she found out? Not sure, but I bet she was devastated. Oh, Safia. I'll be sure to talk to her about this. Um... Let's talk about my... Straight to the, straight to, to it's so cringe. This is what I don't like about this game. It's so cringe. Have you heard of a student named Maya Okada? Of course. She took her own life. Four years ago. Four years ago. I was twenty-four. Horrible tragedy. But Max was twenty-four. I think. I think Sophie's book was cancelled because it was about Maya. <laughs> Impossible. Safia didn't even know Maya. Did Yasmin just lie to me? Do I call her out? She'll be pissed, but I can cut straight to the point. Or should I go along with it and see what? Let's go along with it. Let's go along with it. No, let's go along with it. Uh, of course. I don't know why I thought they knew each other. It's just... What? I've heard conflicting opinions. Everyone seems to have a different opinion of mine. It's... hard to track what's true. I understand that Ms. Okada was... a bit chaotic. So, she had a bad reputation. No wonder you didn't want her and Safi associated with each other. Exactly. Strange. I really thought Vin's statement closed the matter. 
shady cow skull throwing Vin is involved? Enough ancient history. I have a favor to ask. Safia's been distant lately. Could you? Of course. Keep an eye on her of me? course, Yasmin. I don't feel comfortable. Why me? Are you sure that I'm the best person to? Yes. Because she trusts you. And I trust you. Well, I'll I... keep. Yeah. Sure. I'll look out for her. Thank you, Maxine. Oh, the time. Let's do lunch again. Somewhere with more atmosphere than the other place. I got a really good atmosphere. So, there's this place in GTA 5. What did she mean by Vin's Where if you go down to it... Maybe I'd better talk to Vin myself. Uh, you can see some big old titties. Um, I'm sorry about Vin's statement. Oh yeah, this is this, this is living timeline. Um, I wasn't at Kaladin yet, but Safi shared it with me once. Hang on, she he said Maya was an incredibly talented writer, but she also had mental health problems. We tried to get her the best help she needed, but that didn't work. If we'd known it was as bad as we it was, we would have done more. It does. Are you your gem? <laughs> oh, that's cool. Um. Who is this? <laughs> Yeah, I've been there. Let's hope the same thing is true this time, yeah? Okay, so He's where's you now? probably in the admin building. Amanda? Hey, sport. I just messaged you! You're just gonna walk past me without saying hello? I, t I really just messaged you like two seconds ago. How are you here? Sport? Yeah. I'm trying out middle-aged white dad slang nowadays. Is it working? <laughs> yeah, sure. I'm soaking wet right now. What are you doing on campus? Just going on a coffee run. But your coffee's better at the turtle. This one tastes like ass. And trust me, I know what ass tastes like. Not me, Not Max! Me. Fuck! Hey, I'm, okay, I'm GG, I'm good. I work here. No, no. I mean... I just saw you talking to President Fayad. What were you talking about? I'll be straight and honest. I was asking her about Safi and her relationship with a student named Maya Okada. Oh. Why? <laughs> she looks shocked! It's kind of a long story, but it's for something important. Sky's always falling for you, isn't it? <laughs> you have no idea. Well, I'll leave you to your something important. See you around, tiger. See you, Amanda. Why was Amanda here? Why did she look so upset He's when she left? probably in the admin building. Oh, there. Uh, do I really have to talk to him? He try. He he, he he tries to act so flirty with me. It's disgusting. Hey, Vin. Um, Yasmin's yeah, out right now. Sorry to disappoint. Unless you're here for me, in which case, I'll do my best to be of service. See what I mean? You talk like this to everyone who comes near Yasmin's office. <laughs> I've never met a pissed off board member I can't defang with a little eyebrow action. Never do this again! Unless you get one of these. 
How long have you worked here? How long have you worked in the president's office? Right after graduation. What? The summer stock festivals wept because they couldn't have me. But Kahuna needed me right away. Who's I Kahuna? You might have worked here when you were still a student. <laughs> you know, back when Maya Okada went here. Wow. You know Maya's name. Am I supposed to collapse under the weight of that revelation? Shut up! Okay, You're where's where's my fucking like a human being about what happened with her? Where's my gun for so shoot him? Super sleuth? Did you You're come as capable of digging up ancient gossip on your own? Now, if you'll excuse me, Gwen's hearing completely scrambled Kahuna's schedule. Who's the fuck Kahuna? No chats about Maya. Noted. Fix dead world diamond in the admin building. Bet. Why is Yasmin talking about you, of all people? Where is Diamond? Uh oh. Don't mind us, Max. We were just finishing up. Then Abraxas needs new blood. You mean you need another line on your resume? Hold up. Can we talk? I just want to ask you about Maya. Please. I can't handle the both of you. I'm trying to exploit my weak spots. Did I just witness a failed crown snatching? You gotta seize the opportunities when you can. And hey, it almost worked. Speaking of which, what's the deal with Maya? Isn't she the undergrad who died a while ago? Yeah. That's her? Why, do you know anything? Just that Vin looks like he's bitten to a lemon anytime someone says her name. So Maya makes Vin uncomfortable, huh? Let's find out why. There's gonna be a debate at the beginning of next semester. A special little pissing match for Vin and me. Vin usually runs for Abraxas president unopposed. But if I have the right piece of dirt, I bet I can make him step down. If I give her something juicy and then go to the other timeline, maybe I can listen in on Diamond confronting Vin? Um, Vin's covering something. Ben gave a statement where he said Maya had mental health problems, which may have been true, but I think there's more. What I'm saying is, someone let Maya down really badly. I don't get it. Were Maya and Ben friends or something? I'm not sure, but they definitely knew each other. And Vin gave a statement about her death. What a pompous little piece of shit. Go forth and conquer. Whatever he did, now's your chance to squeeze it out of him. Damn. Okay, Machiavelli. Who? Michelangelo? Can you do me a favor? Wait until I get out of here to bring this up with him. You got it. I won't jeopardize your getaway. Thank you. I'm only going to go this around the corner. Not going to tell me anything. Maybe the other one has looser lips. If I'm going to listen in on this conversation, I need to cross to the other side. Mental health issues, but that wasn't the whole story, was it? 
Oh, she. Oh, this is one of those kids. Vin met Maya in Lucas's class, and he also knows something about the cow skull through Sophie's windshield, GG. which conveniently made Lucas look guilty. If I can pressure the other Vin, maybe he'll tell me what the hell is going on here. Okay. Um. Then uh, I was about to say, if they're not a a pulse point here. Oh wait, no, I need to talk to Living World then. I was already there. So Vin, um, I know how you got your job. I know. I know you're busy. Give just, me just a minute of your time. Give me a minute so I can expose your ass. Better be worth it. I know why you got your job. Yasmin gave you this job as a favor, didn't she? For talking to a reporter who was writing about Maya's death? He knows. Didn't your parents ever teach you to not bring up people's dead friends for no reason? There is a reason. I promise. Please. Enlighten me. Trying to help myself. Trying to help someone. They might not make a lot of sense, but I'm trying to help someone. And that means learning about Maya. Maya's been dead for years now. She can't help you or anyone else. Just go with me for a second, okay? All right. You said in your statement that Maya was troubled. But that wasn't true, was it? Finn, what really happened? Ask Lucas Colmanero. It all started in his class. He has Maya's blood on his hands. You're not saying Lucas killed her? Not literally, but... But what? The man deserves every misfortune that befalls him. And I gave him, and I... Like, for example, if Sophie suspected him of tossing a cow skull through her windshield? <laughs> no more free secrets. I have a reputation to protect. I guess I could reveal one of the other secrets I know. What if I told you that Lucas filed a restraining order against Safi? Well, I 
say that Lucas is less dumb than I thought. So, was that a shiny enough info nugget or not? Very shiny. Alright. So, was the cow skull you or not? Yes. So, why? Not to I mean, you've seen a pissed off Safi before. She's like a force of nature. When I heard her book got squashed, I seized an opportunity to aim her at a deserving target. So you were, what, protecting Gwen? That's as much as you get. And now I really do have to get back to work. But, Caulfield. What? Whatever the real reason is, are you digging up old history? Be respectful to Maya. She suffered enough while she was alive. Okay, I, I will give you that. I will give you that. I will be respectful to the dead. Even if she did sleep around. I'm just, I'm nice. sorry, but I'm just saying. Don't need to knock. My door's always open. Come on in. I want to show you something. Please don't be a dick. What did you want to show me? Take a look at that. A movie? Holy shit. Now I don't have to read the rest of the book. I guess I've got some great news for you. Along with Margaret is interested in the film Rats for Water. Holy shit. He actually did it. Yeah. Did I make the right choice? Should I have told Sophie about this? Uh, every man has the right to feel safe. I mean... It's a temporary one. I bought myself two weeks to find some solid evidence. I know you may not be thrilled. Safi's your friend. But it's giving me a lot of peace of mind, so... Thank you. I did a favor for you. Don't thank me, really. <laughs> uh, you're welcome. Now... I hope whatever is going on between you and Safi can be fixed. Hopefully, without that. I am afraid that ship has sailed. Shut up, Alan Wake. Wannabe. But I'm sure that's not why you came to my office. I, yeah, I didn't even know you had that. Um... As he's got straight to the point, let's get this cringe fest started. What can you tell me about Maya Okada? Why do you ask? You don't seem too thrilled about that. Um, you must know why. I'm just curious. I don't really know much about her, but I heard she was your student. I'm just curious as well. Because I can't rewind what in this. Maya was a tragedy. A tragedy I really don't like to talk about. So I'm afraid you'll have to wet your curiosity somewhere else. After I help you get a fucking restraining order on my friend. You excuse me. Yeah, GG's. If I was able to rewind time, I would have fucking changed it. Sure. It, that definitely touched the sofa. He knows something. Well, that was a bust. Won't be able to snoop around in here either. Um. What if I did this? Dig up some dirt on him. All right. Let's what are these what offices, man? There's, there's no way that you're off. You get an office this big. 
Like, even Gwen's office and that. Like, th these offices are massive. Would you file what I did to Maya under W or M? M for Maya's folder? Folder, oh, whoa. Okay. How'd they get in here? Jesus, some of these items are priceless. I've got a lot on my plate. I don't need this. Looks like a fun read. I didn't know Lucas did farm. <laughs> Imagine he starts talking to himself. Well, oh, that's in other world. Poor devil. Banished to the hell from whence he came. <laughs> And start opening drawers. These folders are all from this year. I doubt I'll find anything about Maya. And then try the other drawer. That's a lot of junk. But maybe what I need is somewhere in there. Right here. Well, this at least confirms Maya took his class. Yeah, Safi did too, with Finn. I didn't realize just how much Lucas's book has resonated with people. Um, oh, that Maya. could definitely be Maya Okada. Can't believe it. the Lucas. Comerino, com, com, Cominario wants to be my mentor. Going to bring in what I have so far tomorrow. I'm a little stuck on where to get, n where to go next. So maybe you can help me brainstorm. Excited to see what you think. Thanks again. Oh, why were Lucas and Maya meeting so much? This can't be a repeat of what happened at my high school. One time was. Far too many. Yeah. This isn't... This isn't a... You know, a... How can... I mean, it's scheduled for the same time. Every second day. Except for Tom, Tanya. Of course Lucas is the type of asshole that makes you buy his own book for class. Really? That's... That's shit. That's that's sad. That's um, that's just sad. You can't even supply people with your own book. Like you own the book. I'm pretty sure if you walk into a bookstore, I'm pretty sure you can just get a copy of your own book. Hell, pretty sure you can just get a copy of your own book from home. I'm just saying. Pretty sure they would send you copies. I'm pretty sure we got what we needed. Now what? What, what, what um, talk to Vin in the admin building? Did I, have I not already done that? going to be able to snoop around with Lucas in there. Yeah, I just, because I've already done that. Um, what if I go talk to Vin again? Fucking hell. This, this game could be called Life of Strange Vin Edition. Like, fucking everything I need, I have I to have go to Vin. To talk to Lucas. Now. You already have.
What did you do to Maya, Lucas? No, I can't even speak to him. Looks like somebody had their last stand. Yeah. <laughs> Dead reality. Bin's not there. Hot dog man. Lucas is at the center of this. Did we? What if we don't actually have to be at the university anymore? What? What did that? What did the piece of paper outside of his door say? That's probably how I can track him down. No, Lucas. Sounds like a great time to take a look around inside. I mean, I already have. I, I, did I not get the shit I needed? World's okayest dad. Huh? Might be the first time Lucas... Hmm. Seems like at least one student remembers Lucas fondly. Uh... I don't think I've ever seen this sort of tree in the wild. I speak to Diamond again. I talked to him. Do you know? No one. Why Vin lied in that statement? No. He was like... hurt. But he did step down, so... All hail President Diamond, I guess. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have told you something without thinking through the consequences. I mean, I wasn't trying to stop you. First act as president of a breakfast? Breaking the news to the Vinians, I guess. <laughs> Ugh. There's gonna be tears. See you around, Max. Captain, oh, Captain, my Captain. Okay, um. Still no idea what I'm meant to be doing. They so he's saying talk to Vin in the admin office, but he's not there anymore. Would Alderman's mother know what happened to her son? Oh, whoa, shit. Um, okay, so the article about Mama Alderman, it gets wild, it gets wild, so bear with me. 40 plus years ago, she was admitted to Lakeport County, days before her due date with what she described as complication with her pregnancy. Only despite what she claimed, not only was there no baby, never, there never was one. What? She and her late husband said, she said, I plan to name their baby boy after his father, Vincent. It's like there's hints of two, or hints of who Elderman was, or maybe should have been, but only hints. Yeah, so, what, this is my, this is experience from other video games and TV and movie shows that do these alternate reality and time travel stuff. So, if if your past self, or if your future, if you went back in time, and you talked to your past self, it would. There's different things that could go on. Like they could be a Back to the Future did it to where like. They could be. I'm just gonna say they could be double timelines. I don't know the exact science behind it, but it just means they could be another timeline, being made, or, or you could change to the future if you did that. But what I think happened with Elderman, one timeline interacted with another timeline, and they and, and they interacted with alternate realities of each other, and they just kind of erased themselves because he touched them. I don't think if Max were to, if Max or Moses were to touch um, Elderman, it wouldn't have done anything. Yeah, but so he just got erased. He just got erased from existence. And I thought my powers were a burden before. Shouldn't have been there at all. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's crazy. I have zero clue what I'm meant to be doing. Um, who's in here? No one I can really talk to. That's inter that, that is really cool. They did, I know, because I know that, that's what, I forgot what, I think it's, I forgot what show or where I've seen it, but they, I've, I've seen something where they did something similar, to where if you interacted with another time, I think, I mean, Doctor Strange did it, I could have been thinking of Doctor Strange where, kind of look at everything, apparently there's still something in here. That's probably his ex-wife. They look really happy here. What a strange place to find a key. Must be significant. So this is like the Mr. Jefferson of <laughs> this world. Doesn't fit. That's what she said. <laughs> Odds are that it's the typewriter. Guarantee. fucking know it. I think the only reason why I knew that is because it was so suspicious. It was a giant golden typewriter. That's not what I was expecting. Not what? Wait, a million miles beneath my feet? I know this. Maya wrote this. Come on, there's gotta be a copy in here. Maybe ten of them. Are you saying Lucas stole Maya's book? Holy shit. It's the same. Finn was right. Lucas does have blood on his hands. He stole his work. This is what I've been missing this entire time. He's trying to walk in. I have to talk to Sophie. Oh, no, nah, GG's. Um... So he stole his- so he stole her work. Sophie, hey. Oh, no. She doesn't- Stay strong, Habibti. You know where to uh, find me. Oh, she's gonna hate me for telling the mum. Something wrong? Oh, you want to talk to me now? I've got nothing to say to you. Shafi, I... What? Did you spread my business to someone else? Dig up a couple more clues? Yeah, I did actually. Shit. She knows I've been asking questions. I'm not sure who you've been talking to, but I have a good reason. Oh, you have a good reason. Well, in that case, what's your good reason, Max? Trying to help you. I'm worried about you. I think there might be someone that means you harm. <laughs> yeah. Me too. I don't have the energy for this. I think you should leave me alone for a while. Maybe a long while. Fuck, she hates me. GG, she's good. She's cooked. Then I swear if you open your fucking mouth right now, I'm gonna slap you my 10 inch fucking thong that's right I've got a 10 inch thong I'm gonna be like one of those fucking like Asian parents like oh you didn't look at A plus oh that's racist as hell oh I'm racist oh fuck I'm racist aren't I should I just go up just like hey Amanda you wanna you wanna fuck later like I need it Wins here too. I spent so many nights like this when I was on the road. Diners, bars, hotels. I like.
liked being alone then. At least, I think I did. Joyce still treats me like her second daughter. Even after... everything. Sometimes it feels like she pins the hope she had for Chloe on me. The least I could do is make... Oh, W, Max. I can't just sit here feeling sorry for myself. I need some company. Yeah, go to the chat. You can... I could ask Amanda to help me drown my sorrows. Leave the bar in the living world? Or speak... Vin's here? Who's Vin? Speak to Amanda in Living World. Speak to Vin in Dead World. Leave the bar in Living World. Nah. I'm gonna go to Living World and I'm going to talk to Amanda. I'm gonna go talk to Amanda. Hey, girl. Hey. Hey, you're so good on yesterday tomorrow. How are we feeling? Oh. oh. You know, I'm. I was already in Living World. Wait, is Vin in, is Vin in Dead World then? I may pop some more things and see what's remaining. Yeah, I'm not speaking to Vin. I don't want Vin. I want Amanda. I, ke I keep losing track of the two. Hey, sport. <laughs> hard or hardly working? Sport? You cosplaying as a boomer dad today? Hey, you said it first. I doubt it. It's old sport. It's more my style anyway. Wow, old Finals sport. Finals week, innit? Everyone that's come in here lately has that same traveled look. A drink to ease your troubles. <laughs> <laughs> Look at my fine collection! <laughs> we got whiskey, we got the vodka, we got tequila, we got scotch! Um, Grandma's Liquor? Gasoline on fire? I want to try Grandma's Liquor! You know me, it's not cloyingly sweet, I can't drink it. Have you ever tried Amaro? It's this sweet liqueur. It tastes like a whole herb garden went on a week-long bender. Great. Now I'm depressed and scared. Yeah, nothing like being depressed and drinking your feelings away. How are we feeling now? T five more! Wait. Like I keep thinking I've hit rock bottom, but then I realize I'm still falling. You are such a disaster. You don't have to. God, I certainly have a type. What do you mean by that? How did you get over here so quick? Need more than a drink. Let's hang. Oh, I still owe you that date. You won't get in trouble? Don't you have a bar to tend? We don't need to leave the turtle to have fun. <laughs> we got a bathroom in back! <laughs> Remember that date we were gonna go on? What do you say we have that date now? Yes! Yeah. What are we gonna do? Kidnap the members of Revenge Horse and force them to play here? As if. Revenge Horse only plays house shows. We might not be able to go to a show for real, but we can always oh. pretend. I guess. I hear that rock music. I've not. Bitch, shut your dumb eyes. I swear, if this cuts to like, is this gonna be some Scott Pil Pilgrim bullshit? We pull up to my buddy Eddie's house. 
We call it the rat hole. The rat hole? Best house shows in Lakeport. Revenge Horse goes on at 11, but at the rat hole, that means midnight. The place is packed. We can smell Granite Joe smoking a blunt out back. Who's Granite Joe? Eddie waves to us from a And who's Eddie? Scary Merch. Scary Cran- Yeah, who the- Sorry, did you say someone called Granite Joe is out back smoking up? I take you to meet Granite Joe. Dude's a sweetheart. Very generous with his blood. Very generous and with his And do you partake? I am an adult taxpayer, so yes. And then I hand the blunt to you. Well, I don't want to be rude. I take a puff and <laughs> Granite Joe. You try to, but Granite Joe has wandered off. You now have one blunt. Hey, do I hear the band doing a sound check downstairs? Ahead of schedule? Let's check it out. Careful, the stairs are steep. <laughs> Yo, what the hell is going on? Revenge Horse opens with my favorite song. Fuck, <laughs> Mary Kill. <laughs> and a mosh pit opens in the smoky dark. Belly flop! Off the stage! Let thrash! Chloe would be livid right now. Did she say shaka bra? Pretend you said something normal, but basically that. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that, what a cool back to Life is Strange one. <laughs> Everyone around us is probably looking at what the fuck are these no. <laughs> idiots doing? These two are high. To be fair, I probably immediately give a black eye. Oh, then I fight us away back to the bar and get you an ice pack. <sighs> I'll only need one eye to see the show anyway. <laughs> hey, the singer. Is she a stage diver? I mean, in so much as you can call a thrifted area rug a stage, sure. <laughs> she sets her guitar down and takes a running leap towards the crowd. I got her. <laughs> I run over to the spot where she would land. Wait, don't you have an ice pack in one hand? Oh. Yes, I do. <laughs> Shit. I hope you're prepared for what happens next. Don't Shh. tell me that the singer, that she... Stone Cold dead on the floor. But don't worry, this is how she would have wanted to go out. What? <laughs> She's dead? To receive an invitation to her Viking funeral. Viking funeral? That was the wildest show I have ever seen. <laughs> or like talked about. Told you'd be worth it. And you're walking away with let's see. One half smoked blunt. Some bruises from moshing. And an invitation to a Viking funeral. Yeah. <laughs> I like these two. These two have good chemistry. Vincent would have just been trying to peg me right now. If that was just the dry run, imagine what the real Revenge Force show is going to be like. It's been a fuck wild day. I still can't, I still can't over she said shaka bra. That made me feel like... I don't know. Maybe tomorrow... My existence... Ooh. Anything's worse for everyone around me. She's gonna take me out back and like do shit to me, isn't she? She's gonna. What is she? What? What are we? You keep saying that about your day. Just tell Amanda about your powers. Why are you so nice to me? 
Fuck you, she likes Shit. me. I'm doing it again. My therapist says I latch on to people too quickly. But what am I supposed to do when I gel with someone? Act like a bitch? That would be hot. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. A part of me wants to go, that would be hot. Oh, fuck it. Bitchy women are a huge turn on, so. <laughs> oh? Good to know. Hey, it worked! What? <laughs> Look, what can I say? I have a thing for emotionally unavailable women. Yeah, it's insane. You're literally in my bar talking about yourself like you're a category five. Uh, foreshadowing? Because there's literally going to be a category five hurricane by the end of this game. Just kiss. Sorry, did I do something wrong? No, no. I really really want to kiss you um it's just bring it in like i said i tend to go for women who don't feel the same way about me and i need to know i'm not just projecting i literally uh, just said i get horny for bitchy women you kiss me first what the fuck I'm a sucker for a good day. <laughs> Another callback from the first game. But I'm also very polite. So you go first. Are you trying to break me? With my dick? Yeah. Um, he... Max Caulfield, you are the worst. I meant Max's. Yeah. Oh, fuck it about something about this game makes me fuck. Donald Trump pose. We did it! We're gonna do it right here on this couch. Right here on this couch. Right here. When do you get off? About an hour. Uh, but before we do anything else, maybe we should sleep on it? Yeah, my place. In my bed? <laughs> <laughs> as much as I'd like that, um, I'd like to be able to tell my therapist I made good choices this week. You are very smart woman. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I did it! To be continued. Okay. Uh, no. I. I have to go back to bed. She wants to go for another. She wants to go. She wanted to go for another one. I wish that was Warren though. Warren, Warren and Max on the first game had good chemistry. So, uh, speak to Vin and Dead. Fuck no! You're saying I could do both of them? Hell no! Nah. I'm not doing Vin. Romance only. Yeah, I'm not romancing Vin. Not Shang Chi. Someone broke into my place. We now return to your regularly scheduled fuckery. Oh, God. Who? This is bad. 
Call the cops. You had a break in. Fucking hell, I'll do it for you I'll do it for you right now. Yeah, 911, I've got a break in. Uh yeah, Max Corfe Corfield's house in Life of Strange Double Exposure. What the fuck do you mean you can't do anything? Because it's a game? Well obviously she's not calling the cops, so I have to do something. Yeah, I'm sorry, Max. Sorry, Max. The cops said no. So, uh, if there is a 10-foot-tall, big, oiled-up, naked bodybuilder in back, I can't help you. Probably they're looking for the photo. What? No, 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 no. All my Arcadia base stuff. What the hell do they want with this? Safi's books. What could anyone want with those? There goes my security deposit. Your security deposit? What about... Get back in Dead World, everything's fine. I think I just shat myself. Fuck! They think they just went into the dark room. What if it's what if it's actually like someone from the first game? I can't let them go through my investigation stuff. Okay, this is what we do, Max. We go to alternate timeline. Right? We go into dark room. We and we suss the fucking place out. That's me! I didn't even think that would work. That's- that is- There you are, asshole. Show me your face. That- Me? What in the fucking fuck is going on? Corn of the intruder? Yeah, GG's. I'm about to interact with another timeline version of myself, aren't I? Oh, it's gonna be a double wear me too, Maxes? <laughs> That's too much for me to handle. Oh my god, that is nuts. She's wearing a different outfit from me though. Don't touch her, you saw what happened to the dude earlier. You're busted! Turn the fuck around. Slowly. Hey, hey Max. Max? <laughs> now explain all of this. She's gonna escape. You weren't supposed to be home. What? Why wouldn't I be home? <gasps> Wait! The doppelganger. I'd run and jump it. I could jump it. Damn it. Now how do I get across? 
Does this not- does the other Max not have my powers? Does the other Max not have powers? Well, remember what the other Max did, just don't do that. So the other Max is heavier, good to know. No doorways to the other world on this side of the log. I need to find a way to track her from this timeline. Shit. How do I know which way? Oh, there she is. She doesn't even know she's probably doesn't even know she's being tracked right now. That's funny. <laughs> World's best tracker. Now did she escape into this oh, timeline? Any of it. She's no. I actually cornered her. Oh my god. Hey! <laughs> what the? Where are you gonna go? What is she doing? Stop! For fuck's sake, just stop! Right, you caught me. Now what? Well, this is now a bitchy bit version of me. Where did you come? What? No, not where? Did where did you even come from? You're from the future. Is this what's been going on with you? <laughs> that you've completely lost the plot. I don't understand. Why were you in my house? She, she's got it. It's her for? house too, technically. What are you looking for? All that stuff in your dark room about Lucas, about Vin, about Gwen? Shit, you have no reason to know about or care about. Don't you care about it? Wait, what? But you know too. You care too. Don't we want the same thing? Absolutely fucking not. She's gonna push me. Stop. Please. We can't touch each other. I've seen what happens. Please, trust me. Trust you? Go fuck yourself, Max. No! They touched each other and nothing happened. Was the other Max really just gonna kill me? <laughs> She's cooked. Yeah, that must be fucking freezing, man. Now explain to me what the fuck is going on. We broke time again. Uh oh. We gotta go now. Come on.
the fuck was that, Supermax? Can't you do that too? You're me. Let's get you warm. I always said you were too soft for academia. What? Sophie? What? Yeah, yeah. Ninety nineteen percent didn't get the opportunity, damn. 